Hello everyone, we're back and today we're going to talk you through what we do for core. So core is super important, especially for trail runners. If you think about it, it's what keeps you all together. Like if you're trying to stabilize when you're going over rocks, you need a strong core. So I'm going to take you through the exercises that I personally do and you can do them anywhere, which is really nice. They're simple, they're quick, and I'll show you how to do them. So first, what you'll want to do is do them on a surface that is soft or, or like I like to personally use a mat, but you can also do it on a carpet, something just to protect your back when we will go through a series of exercises and you'll see ones on your back. So you want to protect that. Okay, so I'm going to take you through three different core exercises that you're going to do continuously and you're gonna do three to five rounds of them depending on your ability level. And then in between the rounds, you're gonna take roughly 30 seconds. You wanna be recovered, but not like take minutes and be like, okay, <laughs> I'm bored. So the first exercise is going to be shoulder taps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get on your soft surface or your mat and you're gonna get up into a plank position really make sure here that your hips are stable and you can spread your feet apart to make that happen. The closer your feet are together, the harder this is gonna be. The farther they are apart, the more stable you are. Then you're gonna just slowly bring your hand up to your shoulder and just tap it and then set it back down. Tap it, set it back down. You don't wanna go quickly. It's not like tap, 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 tap. It's a very slow and methodical and you're trying not to let your hips dip. You wanna keep them as stable and in line as possible. And just really think about engaging your core all the way through and your back as well. Next is a plank dip. So you're gonna get in a side plank and you wanna look down your chain and make sure that you're in line. Don't be like off kilter with your hips way in front of you or way behind you. Try and be as in a straight line as possible. And then what you're gonna do is very controlled. You're going to let your hip dip all the way down to the floor and then come back up. So you're gonna feel this not only in your abs, but also in your hips. So it's kind of like a double whammy. And again, be slow and methodical. If the stabilization is hard for you, you can set one foot slightly out in front and you'll see that and that gives you just a bit more stabilization when you do this. And last ones, and I really don't know what to call these. I don't have a name for them, so if you have a cool name for them, you can drop it in the comments below and that's what I'll start to call them. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna get on your back and you're gonna slightly raise up. So you're in sort of like a boat position if you've ever done yoga. However, your legs are gonna be staggered. One is gonna be straight out and one's gonna be bent. Then you're gonna stick both of your arms straight and you're just gonna pulse with putting your arms like forward. And again, this is supposed to be really engaging. You'll feel it in your upper abs especially. And just be slow and diligent. Make sure you breathe. <laughs> I think a lot of times when people do core, they start to like <gasps> hold their breath and then like that just makes it 10 times harder. Okay, so those are the three exercises. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna do three to five sets depending on your ability level or your motivation level and then take roughly 30 seconds between each set. Boom, you thought you were done. But we also have a bonus exercise if you're feeling motivated and like you want a little more. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mat against a wall, doesn't matter what kind of wall it is, <laughs> And you're gonna put, you're gonna land your back and you're gonna put your hands behind your head and you're gonna make sure that your hands are pushing against the wall. Also that your back is flat against the floor. We don't want you to arch your back in this. We wanna make sure it's abs, not back. No back problems here today. And you're going to, as you press against the wall, you're going to extend your legs out straight. So you're gonna do that and be slow, diligent. I'm gonna keep saying it. You're gonna be tired of me saying it. However, if this is too challenging and you feel like your back is starting to come off the floor, 
then you can bend your knees instead and just tap your heels to the bottom. And that'll be just a little like way to RX this movement. Okay, thanks for watching. That's the core we do at home. If you like it, let us know. If you have a good name for that rando exercise, also let us know. And I would recommend doing this like three times a week. It can be done on easy or hard days. So yeah, get a strong core.